in a general request for volunteers redacted volunteered for H experimentation and were originally tested on the 21st of May 1951. Both girls were, at this time, 19 years of age. On the 9th of January 1952, in a group of volunteers redacted was initially tested in the H techniques along with a group of volunteers. Redacted at this time, was 20 years of age. In each instance, all volunteers on the initial contact were given a brief discussion of H, were given a very general picture of security's interest in the work and were given a very painted lecture on the necessary security essential to these operations. In each instance, after the above explanations had been made, all subjects were tested in the following manner, a falling back test be hand and arm levitation test. See general relaxation procedure with explanation. It should be noted that redacted on their initial tests, responded successfully to the falling back and levitation tests but the relaxation or sleep induction tests were not overly successful. However, since both girls were intelligent and cooperative they were, at that point, regarded as very good material. The same more or less applied to redacted who did not appear particularly suggestible to the above-mentioned tests, but since she had shown interest she was regarded at this point as being a good future subject. For matter of regard, in all three cases on the second effort at induction each subject soused in obtaining a very deep H state and thereafter and up to the present time, the girls have been exceptionally splendid. Subjects all of the individuals have been given numerous tests from simple post-age to very complex activities and have performed in what we believe to be a highly indicative manner. The writer and redacted have never felt that we could determine by experimentation what actually could be done with the age technique under field operating conditions with life and death element at stake. However, the writer and redacted do firmly believe that from a physical point of view, a great deal can be determined what individuals can do under age. All of these subjects have clearly shown that hallucinations, illusions, and amnesias can be produced through it. They have done very complicated mechanical acts such as learning to use a camera, open safes, typewrite, set timing mechanisms, fire guns, etc. Under H. In addition, under H they have moved all over the building, passed guards, engaged in conversation, taken polygraph tests, written, drawn fully under H and have total amnesia for these activities. Furthermore, in these cases, when work has been expanded for a considerable period of time, all commands have been carried on in a matter of a few seconds although H was not dissassed or in any way brought to the attention of the subjects for the periods existing over months at a time. Recently, in view of the broadened approach to the problem and also in view of the fact that we have lost the services of redacted we carried out experiments involving considerable area in and around Washington. These experiments clearly demonstrated to a certain extent that individuals under H can move about, travel and act normal over a certain amount of time and space and may possibly have a bearing on more advanced experimentation which this office wishes to undertake in the future. In this connection, this office expects a report from Redacted our professional H consultant from Redacted in the near future. This report should should cover Redacted checks on certain very pertinent matters. Concerning very advanced uses of H, the report should have been in several weeks ago but owing to certain personal matters, Redacted has not been able to complete it. The report will be available for all interested parties upon completion. Since these subjects have been actively engaged in this work for some time, as mentioned above, taken part in a great many difficult tests and experiments but basically the efforts of the writer and redacted were turned toward producing a normal type of activity while under h and also how could h be obtained on an individual via the telephone or very subtle methods without the person's immediate associates realizing that h control had been obtained in all of these cases these subjects have clearly demonstrated that they can pass from a fully awake state to a deep h controlled state via the telephone via some very subtle signal that cannot be detected by other persons in the room and without the other individual being able to note the change. It has been shown clearly that physically individuals can be induced into H by telephone, by receiving written matter or by the use of code, signals, or words and that control of those hypnotized can be passed from one individual to another without great difficulty. It has also been shown by experimentation with these girls that they can act as unwilling couriers for information purposes and that they can be conditioned to a point where they can believe a change in identity on their part even on the polygraph. Whether or not it could be used as a challenge to the polygraph cannot be stated by 
The writer and redacted since we are lacking statistical information, but, in certain instances, it has been clearly shown that H can materially affect polygraph readings. Further experimentation along these lines is contemplated. All of the above will show that certain normal individuals are capable of very deep H and can carry out activities which may be of value from the artichoke point of view. Our tests, which now number in the thousands with dozens of subjects, while strongly indicative, are not, in our opinion, complex enough or carried out under hazardous conditions to warrant extravagant claims for operational use. They do, however, indicate that it has a potentiality as a weapon either as an information-gaining aspect or as an operational weapon 